Welcome back to Maintenance Monday. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to customize the shift buttons on the latest Shimano Dura-Ace, Ultegra, and 105 shifters using the Shimano eTube phone app. I'm also gonna show you all about the little button that's hidden on the top. Fantastic. The process I'm gonna talk you through today applies to the latest group sets from Shimano. These are the ones which are wireless from the shifters down to the front derailleur and the rear derailleur as well. First thing you're gonna to need to do is download the eTube phone app, just like this. It's compatible with both Android and Apple phones. Once you've downloaded that, you can simply open the app and you'll be presented with a screen which looks something like this. Next thing you need to do, you need to put your bike into the programming mode in order to make it connect to your phone. To do that, we need to head down to the rear mech. The next thing you need to do is to press the little function button on the rear derailleur. It's located just underneath here. And then if you look on the derailleur on the opposite side, there's a small LED. Now we need to press and hold the function button just for long enough to make the little LED flash blue. This will put the bike into the pairing mode, enabling it to connect to your phone. So we'll hold the button in for a split second. The blue LED is flashing, and then I can hit the big plus symbol on here. So the phone is now searching for the units that are nearest to it. So it'll take a minute to connect. Once the phone is recognized and connected to the group set of your bike, you're presented with a list of all of the different components which it is picked up. So we've got the rear derailleur, the front derailleur, the shifter for the left, the shifter for the right, and of course the battery to power the system up. So I can confirm that all of the components bought up on the phone match up with what I've got on my bike, which is fantastic news, and hit the OK button. Now this is the feature and settings inside the app where we can do lots of different functions. But what we're gonna focus on today is the shifters. So I can scroll down here and I can see the shifter for the left and the shifter for the right. So the app is telling me to press any button on the left-hand shifter. So that's what I'll do. The app's confirmed that. Now it wants me to press any button on the right-hand shifter. So we can see the app is now recognized and connected to both the left-hand and the right-hand shifter. And it's bought up a little list of the functions that each button is doing. So we've got the A button, the X button, and the Y button. Now the A buttons relate to the little hidden shifter on the top. This is available on Dura-Ace and Ultegra, but 105 shifters don't have that feature. Next up, the X and the Y buttons are the two little buttons located on the side here. And at this point in the menu, we can simply select each one and then scroll down through our lift and choose what we want this button to be assigned to. So now it's just a case of selecting the button that you want to customize, scrolling through the list of different options, assigning the correct function to the correct button for what you want your bike to do, pressing the confirm button, and then going through the left shifter and the right shifter to make sure everything does exactly what you want it to do. Now, the reason I've spoken about these hidden buttons is because as a factory setup, they're not assigned to any function. So I find it's best to have them set up to shift the rear derailleur using the top buttons. And when you're tucked in in an aero position, I find it really helpful, but you could assign it to do a different function, scrolling through the list of options, such as pairing your head unit up to your bike. And you can also use these buttons to then toggle through the different pages and displays you have on your head unit, which is a pretty neat feature, I think. Now, once you've chosen your stuff, it's just a case of simply scrolling down the page and selecting apply letting those changes save onto the system, and then you're presented back with this original page. And if you're happy with what you've done, simply press disconnect from your group set. Back to square one. Your bike has saved all the settings, and you're ready to ride. So the reason you disconnect your phone from your group set is so that it knows it's moved out of the like customization function, and the group set will go back into its normal settings in order to operate correctly. So the shift buttons will work, and there's no way you can change any settings inadvertently, and everything should work as intended. Okay, so there you have it, a pretty simple process, and it enables you to customize the lots of different options to set your bike up exactly how you like it. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it informative and helpful. If you have, please give it a big thumbs up, and for more videos like this, subscribe to GCN Tech. See ya.